Hello, I'd like to show you how simple it is to make a uh, three-dimensional magneto-holographic viewing supercell. You only need a few things, and they're all quite cheap, except for the optically flat glass. However, it can be obtained very cheaply on Alibaba. It's obviously going to take a while to get it from China. You can find optically flat glass on eBay. Um, you want the largest blanks possible that uh, you can get. Also, too, however, uh, the best place to get them is at ferrocell.us. I'm not affiliated with them in any way. They sell the optically flat pieces of glass. That's ferrocell.us. And so you need two pieces of that. All optically flat glass is is it uh, is extremely flat glass. I mean, that's an easy way of describing it. It's uh, measured in uh, wavelengths of uh, flatness, okay? You're gonna need a ring light LED. These uh, LEDs are white light. You could use uh, red, green, blue, which I do, and I swap them out. You can get these at Lowe's or Home Depot. They're just uh, silicon strip LEDs that uh, you use for uh, under the edge of your countertops or whatnot. I mean, they're everywhere now, and they're really, really cheap. You can get them really cheap on eBay. Also, and uh, this housing, you don't need to have a housing. You can actually block off the light. This is the other part of the housing right here. To block off the light to keep it from shining directly in your eyes. A lot of people will just use duct tape. Or I'll use aluminum uh, ducting tape right here. You can also get it at a hardware store just to keep the light from uh, zapping your eyeballs. You just want the LEDs to shoot inwards into the glass. And this is where you get the constructive and destructive lines of interference between the magnet that's actually placed underneath it. Actually, I shouldn't have touched that. I actually made a fingerprint there. There we go. Should not have touched that. And uh, once you get it perfectly clean, you know, blow the dust off of it. I uh, sense uh, they're so sensitive. I have to tear them apart all the time. Um, the magnetic field image gets burned in, not literally burned in, um, from the magnetic field. So I'll just tape it at three equidistant corners on there using some clear tape to hold it in place, but you don't even have to do that. The actual uh, vacuum between the, of the liquid between the glass will actually hold it into place once you uh, wrap uh, the LEDs around it, just to make uh, sure that once you build it, since you'll need to rebuild it after you use it a lot and play with it, is that it's easily to tear down, easy to tear down. That's why I just use three pieces of tape. I pop it out, open up the tape. I'll use some regular dish soap to clean the oily residue of the ferro fluid off of there in the sink and then dry it. And it only takes a couple minutes to do that. You'll need two chemicals. Uh, one chemical is called mouse milk. Yeah, I know. It's basically like a, an old... World War II version of WD-40. It's used for loosening up parts and whatnot. It's made out of tuline, naphthalene, some uh, smelly, toxic stuff. However, it's not going to do an enormous damage if you get it on your skin, but it's not meant to uh, you know, be touched for any period of time. But it's called mouse milk. You can get a... Oh, a huge amount of it for just like uh, 15 or 20 bucks on eBay. Also, too, uh, ferrofluid. Ferrofluid is all over eBay. Um, this much ferrofluid and uh, mouse milk will actually let you rebuild this thing about, oh, about a dozen times. Those are little plastic uh, pipettes. And so let's uh, do what I do here, and let's build the sucker. It's hard to do this one-handed, but I can certainly do it. I'm going to put about... Oh, three to four drops. Uh, this doesn't actually matter how much you put on there because most of it's going to squish out the sides when you sandwich together with the other glass. The uh, ferrofluid, however, is important how much you put it in there. You don't want much more than a heaping drop. I'll let you determine whether you consider this a drop and a half or a heaping drop. Uh, yeah... Maybe a little bit more. Nah, that's okay. It's brown enough right there. When you uh, set the other piece of glass on top of it, you don't lay it flat like this. What you do is you sandwich it on, sandwich it on there like this from this angle, correct? So don't do this number because that will uh, trap air bubbles in there. You see there's already an air bubble there. We're going to get it out. So you need to follow this process, okay? Sandwich it on there at an angle like this and gently lay it on there. Okay, so that makes it trap as a little bit of, and you see the air bubbles here? What we're gonna do is get those out by doing this number. I'm pressing down while I'm turning it, and it will turn this light amber color. And if it's a little bit darker, that's okay. That just means there's more ferrofluid in there. 
but uh, there's more than enough nanoparticles of uh, ferrite iron in this at this light amber color. Um, I usually stick a hair more ferrofluid in it than this, but this light amber color is more than enough, and this dark spot in the center will actually migrate out as I actually squeeze it and actually and say massage it a little bit more, but there'll be liquid on the sides here squishing out. What I'll do is I'll pick this up since I can't do this one-handed and I got an air bubble here I need to squeeze out, but I can't do that one-handed. I'll just press it out with my both my hands when I'm off video here. I'm going to tape it at uh, three equidistant spots over there. I'm going to plop it in, turn on my LED lighting, and that's it. I mean, this is really, really simple. We're talking about a few drops of liquid, two pieces of glass, and some LED ring lighting huh? to see the construct of a destructive interference of the conjugate geometry of the universe. Simple as a post-it note almost, huh? Two drops of liquid, LED lighting, and uh, two pieces of optically flat glass. Um, not that complicated. Anyway, I hope you like this video. If you do, you can always contribute below. And uh, like I said, uh, if you want the optically flat glass, you want to make it uh, cheap and uh, easy, just order it off of ferrocell.us. I'm not affiliated with them in any way, shape, or form. And uh, thanks so much for watching. Peace out, Girl Scout.